King Mahendra Birbikram Sahadev was born to King Trivuvan Birbikram Sahadev and the senior queen Kanti Raja Lakshmi Devi Saha on June 11, 1920 AD at Naranhiti Royal Palace. He studied politics, economics, Nepali language and culture and English language privately in his palace. The Crown Prince Mahendra married the granddaughter of Juddha Samsar Janga Bahadur Rana Indra Raja Lakshmi Devi on May 8, 1940 AD at the age of 20. The royal couple were blessed with three sons and three daughters. Then on 4th September 1950 AD, Indra Raja Lakshmi died. There was a widespread rumor that Crown Prince Mahendra like his wife younger sister Ratna Raja Lakshmi Devi very much. King Trivuvan also wanted his son Prince Mahendra to marry outside the Rana family. Ratna Raja Lakshmi Devi was the granddaughter of Juddha Samsa Janga Bahadur Rana. King Trivuvan, on the other hand, was not in favor of expanding relations with Juddha Samsa's family. Contrary to his father King Trivuvan's wish, Crown Prince Mahendra was determined to marry Ratna Raja Lakshmi, younger sister of his dead wife. The hurt had won over the hate, even to the point jeopardizing his own succession to the throne. Since Crown Prince Mahendra had gone against King Trivuvan's wishes, King Trivuvan forbade his queens and members of higher nobility to attend the marriage ceremony. Crown Prince Mahendra's second marriage generated a lot of heat. However, the Crown Prince Mahendra again married Ratna Raja Lakshmi Devi, the younger sister of Indra Raja Lakshmi Devi on December 10, 1952 AD. After the downfall of Ranarki in 1951 AD, an intermediate government was formed under the leadership of King Trivuvan. It was a coalition government consisting of several political parties. The opposition party, Gorkha Dal, became violent and acted as Kukuri Dal. A second cabinet was formed under the prime ministership of Matrika Prasad Koirala. It was purely a Congress government, but there arose a conflict between Matrika Prasad Koirala and Beswesar Prasad Koirala, so it failed to function. Matrika Prasad Koirala formed the third cabinet for the second time under his prime ministership. As the cabinet was composed of ministers from different political parties, it could not work in harmony. At the sudden date of King Trivuvan on March 13, 1955 AD in Jirik Canton Hospital in Switzerland, King Mahendra ascended the throne of the Kingdom of Nepal. His coronation ceremony was held on May 2, 1956 AD. When King Mahendra ascended the throne, he found that the political situation of Nepal was deteriorating. King Mahendra invited Tanka Prasad Acharya, the leader of Praja Parishad, to form the ministry in 1955 AD. Tanka Prasad Acharya became the Prime Minister. Tanka Prasad Acharya visited China and a diplomatic relation was established with China. Tanka Prasad Acharya also visited Japan where he was awarded the title Order of the Rising Sun. During the Prime Ministership of Tanka Prasad Acharya, preliminary steps to establish diplomatic relations with the USSR were also taken. Nepal was admitted to the membership of UNO on 14th December 1955 AD and also became a member of International Labour Organization. In spite of such developments in foreign affairs, Tanka Prasad Acharya could not bring peace and order in the country. There arose conflicts among different ministers. Moreover, Tanka Prasad Acharya could not hold general election within the fixed time which had been agreed upon. So, he had to tender his resignation and his cabinet was dissolved on 27 June 1956 AD. Now, King Mahendra invited Kuwar Indrajit, the leader of United Democratic Party, to form the government. K.I. Singh could not get support from other political parties. K. 
Kiai Singh had to quit ruling after 110 days as Prime Minister. He was later replaced by a government led by Suvarna Samsir Rana. King Mahindra asked the representative of different political parties if they could hold the general election in the fixed time. The first general election was held on 18 February 1959 AD. Bisweser Prasad Koirala was sworn in as the Prime Minister on 27 May 1959 AD. Bisweser Prasad Koirala's government could not bring any substantial changes in the country. The widespread lawlessness was not controlled. The political leaders became power hunger. The ministers paid more attention to strengthen their position in the party than to bring development to the country. Favoritism and bribery flourished in the government officer. The Nepali Congress had an absolute majority and there was no strong opposition party in the Nepalese parliament. So, on 15 December 1960 AD, King Mahendra took a bold step and arrested the leaders of the Nepali Congress, including Bisweswar Prasad Koirala, Surya Prasad Upadhyaya, and Ganesh Mansingh. King Mahendra dismissed the Nepalese parliament and suspended the constitution of the Kingdom of Nepal 1959. He also banned all political parties in the country. King Mahendra formed a cabinet under his chairmanship and included in it the prominent people selected on the basis of their personal merit. Dr. Tulsagiri was made the Prime Minister. The Panchayat system became the system of administration in Nepal. Panchayat system was a partyless, guided democracy in which the people could elect their representative while real power remained in the hands of monarch. King Mahendra's Panchayat system of governance did not leave much public debate to streets. Lack of opposition meant major issues of national importance could be resolved without any debate or discourse. After Dr. Giri, Surya Bahadur Thapa, Kirti Nidhi Bista, Nagendra Prasad Rijal, Lokendra Bahadur Chand, and Maris Man Singh Shrestha became the Prime Minister of Kingdom of Nepal under the Panchayat system. King Mahendra divided the Kingdom of Nepal into 14 zones and 75 districts. Realizing that Nepal is a country of villagers, King Mahendra gave importance for the development of villages and remote areas of the country. He introduced five-year government plans. During his reign, Nepal Rastriya Bank, Rastriya Banijaya Bank, Rastriya Bima Sanstan, a life insurance corporation, and Agriculture Development Bank were established. Several industries, including Bansbari Leather Shoes Factory, Janakpur Cigarette Factory, and several others at Biratnagar, Hetauda, Patan, and Balaju, were established. He made remarkable progress in the areas of Birgan Sugar Factory, Agricultural Tools Factory, Janakpur Cigarette Factory, Cement Industry, Textile Industry, Basbarvi Sous, Trivon University, Trivon International Airport, Transport and Agriculture, Water Power Projects at Trishuli and Panauti generated power for the industries. The construction of the Mahendra Highway was also introduced during his regime. He introduced the new civil code Muluki Inn on 17th August 1963 AD for the protection of the rights of women, children, and weaker section of the society. The court ensured equal treatment for all, irrespective of their caste, wealth, or gender. He did a lot for the protection and preservation of antiquities of the country. He also established the National Sport Council, Dasrat Stadium, Rastriya Natsgar and Rastriya Sabagriha for the development of the education in all parts of the country the Trivon University was established during his reign. He himself was a poet and respected the poets and writer. He also composed beautiful songs and poems in Nepali language. He has been regarded 
as the pioneer poet of the modern period of Nepali literature. After ruling the country for 17 long years, King Mahendra died at Diyalo Bangla in Chitwan on 31st January 1972 AD after suffering a heart attack. He was 51 years old. The Panchayat system of government introduced in 1960 continued for three long decades and was overthrown in a mass revolution of 1990-80. Apart from the official wives, King Mahendra had an unofficial wife named Gita Gurung. As Gita Gurung was a Gurung, the royal family wasn't allowed to marry officially. Although he had a son, Ravindra Saha, from Gita, neither Gita was given the title of the queen nor Ravindra a title of prince. Ravindra was actually older than King Birendra. Mahendra's first wife, Indra Raja Lakshmi, died in a mysterious circumstances on September 4, 1958. According to the official website of First Maternity Hospital, Prasuti Griha, the princess Indra Raja Lakshmi had died because of the complication caused by the birth of a last child, Dhirendra Saha. But Dhirendra was born on January 14, 1958. There are also rumors that Ganendra and Sova were the children of Mahendra's second wife, Ratna Raja Lakshmi, and not of Mahendra's first wife, Indra Raja Lakshmi. This means there were rumors that King Birendra and King Ganendra were stepbrothers. Thank you.